Okay, welcome back. Now we're going to talk about technology and using the calculator to solve um, and evaluate um, trigonometric functions. So now, a um, couple of things you have to realize is that you want to make sure that the calculator is set to the correct mode uh, before you solve the problem, okay? Um, either degree or radian, okay? So again, depending on what they're giving you, you want to make sure that you have the mode on your calculator set to the correct one, either, either degrees or, or radians. Um, now, the other thing too is to keep in mind is that most calculators don't have buttons for solving for cosecant, um, secant, and cotangent. So what we're going to have to do is use the um, inverse key, okay? Which is a button that has x to the negative one power. Okay? Which is equal to one over x, right? Because what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to use the fact that to get cosecant, secant, and cotangent, you use the fact that they're reciprocals of the other three functions, right? So cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent, um, cosecant is the reciprocal of sine, secant is the reciprocal of cosine. So you're going to have to use that information, okay? So for example, if I wanted to evaluate cosecant of, um, let's say, pi over 8, well, on the calculator, what I have to do would do is what I want would have to solve is one over uh, the sine of pi over eight. So what I'd have to do is do this piece, uh, the denominator first on my calculator using the uh, the sine function button on my calculator, and then use the inverse key to find the inverse of that answer. Okay, um, and so the way I would do that on my calculator is I would um, do this. I would I would first hit the sign button, right, and then of course I'd have to hit the parenthesis button and then of course the pi button and then the division button and then the 8 button right and then I'd have to hit that right and at that point you could hit enter or equals, you know, or hit the equal key, okay? Now, you're going to get an answer, right? So what you're going to do is then, once you get that answer, right, so this will give you an answer on your screen, and then what you do is when you hit the inverse key, so you'll go and plug and hit X inverse, that should give you one over your answer. Okay? And your display would, would give you 2.613159. Uh, And that's it. Um, trying to think what else. Oh, 
Um, let's do let's do this. Um, okay, so the one thing I do want to make sure you understand is whenever you have a fractional um, angle, right? You want to make sure that you put it all in parentheses. Okay, so if you're taking the sign, now usually the first parenthesis is there, it automatically puts there, but you want to make sure you put everything, the fractional part, inside the parenthesis to make sure that you're, you get the correct answer. Okay, very important to do that. Um, So if you do this, for example, so this is the correct answer, but let's do another one where we get um, um, pi over 6, right? So let's, do this. So pi over 6, right? So if you do this, and again, just to check your math to make sure you're doing it correctly, uh, but let's say we're trying to get oop, pi over 6. Okay, <clears throat> so now um, Let's just do say that we're doing that. Okay, so to make sure we do this, we want to make sure we put the sign, we hit the sign button, then open, open parenthesis if it's not there, and then the pi key, followed by the division key, followed by the six key, followed by the end parenthesis key. Make sure you do it in that order, okay? And then hit enter, and you should get 0.5, right? Because we know from the unit circle sine of pi over 6. Again, this is, the, this is equal to the y key, so this is equal to 1 half. You should get the same answer, okay? So just, again, practice with, um, practice with the common angles. Right? So practice with the calculator with the common angles that we already know how to evaluate using the unit circle and make sure that you get the correct answer and use the easy ones uh, like one half. Um, uh, if you want to do square root of two over two, like 45 degree angle or pi over four, that's fine too. Just make sure you evaluate square root of two over two or square root of three over two, whatever the case may be, and can, can, um, make sure you get the same answer in your calculator. Otherwise, that's it. Practice, practice. Have a great day.